Our sun has been snoozing over the past couple days, but it looks like it's beginning to wake up. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we had been watching region 3296 as it rotated to the sun's far side. This was that big flare player from last week, and we're glad to see it go. Since then, there hasn't been all that much on the Earth-facing disk. A couple filament eruptions here and there, but nothing really substantial, except when you look down in the southeast, off of the east limb, over the past couple days, there's been a region that you're beginning to see its activity. In fact, just as it begins to really capture our attention, wham, right there, it fires off a near X-class flare. In fact, this likely was an X-class flare. It's just that it was occulted, meaning that it wasn't completely in view. On Earth's day side, it actually did cause a near R3-level radio blackout for a short while. And this region, believe it or not, we have been expecting it. As we take a look at our JSOC HM my helioseismology far side viewer, you can actually see this is region 2385 from the last rotation, and it's actually been growing on the sun's far side. You can see it in gold. See that big black dot? That thing continues to grow. That's this region, and it means that it's actually been firing off lots of solar storms and probably big flares on the sun's far side. So we're expecting a lot of activity from it here over the next couple weeks. So amateur radio operators, get ready for some radio blackouts. Now, on top of that, we have just over the last day, whoosh, right there, we had a filament launch. This is a, a filament that looks like it's going to be a solar storm that goes to the southwest of Earth, so we're not really anticipating much impact from it. It may graze us right around the 20th or 21st, but probably not going to give us all that much to look for. We're going to have to wait until some bigger players rotate into Earth view. In fact, as we take a look at our sun's far side, this is stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a tiny bit from the side. You can see on the east limb in the south, that is that new region that is rotating into Earth view. And you can see when it launched that, that big solar flare on the uh, 16th, it also launched a far-sided solar storm. And that was actually involving other regions on the far side. It's kind of hard to tell. But you can see that big, massive halo. That is a far-sided halo. Don't worry, it's not Earth-directed. But that means that there are no other regions on the far side that are big solar storm producers. Plus, you can see in the north, there's also some brightening here. This is another region that's going to be rotating Earth side. So Aurora photographers and amateur radio operators, get ready. The snooze is over. We're definitely going to be seeing more solar flares and more solar storms here over the next two weeks. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these new flare players could affect space traffic and radio comms, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.